Well, welcome, Nick, to Green Belt. I understand you're a long-term Green Belter. Um, yeah. This, this is the first year you've been exhibiting anything. Um, first of all, can you tell us what you think of this year's theme and uh, you know, what are your thoughts on the theme this year, Standing in the Long Now? Standing in the Long Now, I, I, I think it's, it's good, actually. I was uh, thinking about it when I was putting the exhibition together and a sense of living in the now but living with ancient stories and seeing how those can catapult you into the future. So, you know, there's a lot to play with there, I think. Excellent, excellent. And you're a curator and a photographer, and you've, you've been visiting Bethlehem, and you've taken pictures of uh, scenes in Bethlehem that uh, have parallels with the nativity story. Can you tell us a little bit about your visit and what led you to bring the exhibition to Greenbelt? Sure, sure. The, um, I was uh, studying theology as part of my training and uh, wanted to explore how you can use the camera as a tool for exploring things theologically and decided I needed a kind of case study to sort of have a look at that and ended up thinking about the visit of the wise men and the feast of the epiphany and the way that word epiphany is something for a moment of revelation and I thought I could probably do something with that and so explored it from a number of angles and a friend said well if you really want to get to grips with this go to Bethlehem and uh, several glasses of wine later it seemed like a really good idea <laughs> so um, I got in touch with some community organisations in Bethlehem and uh, some uh, church leaders there and um, went and uh, met with them, talked with them and tried to explore some of the parallels between the visit of the wise men and the situation there today and I thought, I had a hunch that there might be some parallels yeah. um, but it wasn't until I actually got there and saw stuff and met with people that it really came together. Great, okay, and, and it beautifully ties in with our, our campaign issue this year of, of uh, Palestine, and we've just been to the service this morning, which was yeah. uh, you know, wonderfully produced, so yeah. uh, it was just a perfect uh, tie-in with all our visual arts programmes. Yeah, 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 no, it was, it, it was really moving, actually, and I hadn't quite sort of realised until I was reading through the programme and the commitment that Greenbelt's making mm. you know, for mm. the next three years, I think it's just really good, because... Uh, you know, people are struggling day in, day out in and around Bethlehem with having to get through the barrier, with trying to maintain jobs if they're working on the other side of the wall. Mm -hmm. And towards the end of my week there, I went on what is actually a weekly demonstration against the wall. A peaceful demonstration uh, that happens after um, Muslim prayers on a Friday, but Christian groups join as well. And I went along and um, uh, they had banners um, uh, talking about the way in which it's actually sort of making people's lives really, really hard. And uh, I, I joined with them and we marched up to this line of uh, the soldiers from the Israeli Defence Force. Um, uh, views were exchanged um, and, you know, points forcefully made. Um, and then people sort of came back from um, uh, the demo and they're just sort of standing in huddles chatting after the demonstration. And it was at that point, um, after I'd been taking photos, and I was just viewing the photos I'd taken, and it was at that point that the soldiers decided to fire tear gas canisters into the crowd. Wow. And uh, you didn't know what it was, you just had these very large bangs and all of this smoke and everyone was running. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't get any photos of that because I was running. <laughs> and at, um, and, and, we, and we ended up recovering and your eyes are streaming and your wow. throat's constricted and you don't know where you are. Uh, and, um, and and the locals, you know, I was I was in shock. The locals took it in their stride because they've yeah, witnessed they this before. Day, yeah. um, but they thanked me for coming, and they said, if we don't have internationals here, if we don't have journalists here, if we don't have people recording this, uh, the violence can be worse. Mm, mm. Um, and go away and tell this story. So the opportunity to do that here, to have the exhibition, and the fact that Greenbelt's making that commitment over the next three years is just really important. So it was a delight uh, to, to come here and see that. Great. Right, and it's such it's such a co complex problem that seems to be unsolvable. That anything we can do to kind of highlight it and put the spotlight of the world onto it is uh, it's fantastic. Yeah, I think so. It was, right. um, I mean, just sort of you know hearing the speakers in the service this morning was mm -hmm. really good, yeah. and I I thought they let us off a, a, a bit lightly as a British audience because you know it was the Balfour Declaration, which was a British law that set Absolutely, up yeah. the founding of the State of Israel, and uh, the bulldozing of houses was something the Israeli Defence Force learned from British soldiers. Yeah, so yeah we, our they hands were, are buried deep in it for, they are. for centuries. They are. Great. Okay, well thank you very much. Thank you.